Okay then folks, uh, it's been a while since I did the first review on the uh, FX radar crony and didn't have much luck with it. But since then, a new version's come out. A new, well, yeah, a new version I suppose. It's uh, had the software updated, so it's a version 2. And also they've included this time a uh, amount rather than uh, when it was first bought out, it had like a, a mount for a, a tripod. But what they've done now, I'll open the box up, I'll try and open the box up. What they've done now, they've included a built-in mount. Now the, the actual chronograph looks the same apart from the mount that they've mounted to it, but also included in the box is if you wanted to mount it to a, a tripod you've got that option uh, you can take that off and replace it with your standard tripod mount which is great it gives you plenty of options now basically what you do with this now that mounts the underside of the barrel or silencer on the rifle uh, under the rifle, probably about three inches back from the barrel end, but you'll have to work that out for yourself. Uh, and what I've got, I've got a couple of elastic bands that I'll use. And there's, they've got on each end, they've got two like uh, divot things that come down to help uh, the actual elastic band locate. I've got one of those, those on both ends. So basically all you need to do is mount it on your barrel like that and make it nice and tight. Uh, so it didn't come with any elastic bands which I was surprised with but no problem. I bought, I bought a pack of elastic bands. So I've got elastic bands. I've also got some velcro tape. So I might even use, use these you know but uh, elastic bands are just as good anyway. Cheap and cheerful and they do the job. Uh, so, what we're going to do today, we're going to see what the improvements are on the chronograph. And if you watched, I don't know if it was in my last video, I had uh, been working on my break up concept because it was leaking at the valve end. And uh, what I did, I replaced the seals on that. So that's the rifle I'll be uh, testing through the chronograph today. So uh, we'll get on with the test. Oh, and by the way, you can see this is the uh, Coldwell chronograph, my own chronograph. It served me well for the last uh, seven years or more. Dropped it a couple of times and it finally gave up the ghost. Uh, I think it's a fault, faulty switch on it, but it's not really... So it, was start, it was starting to register and then it suddenly it was, it's not. So I think it's a faulty switch on that and also for the last couple of years the, the actual software that comes with it so you can read it off your phone similar to this one has not been working. Uh, maybe an electrician that's good on electronical circuit boards might be able to sort it out, I don't know but I'm not much cop of that. Uh, served me well but uh, this is the one I've gone with. Uh, I've looked at lots of alternatives. I mean, I did wonder about getting one of these. It's in the corner of the uh, room up there. When I was sorting the uh, workshop out again, I did put a, uh, an LCD light up just for this. <laughs> as soon as the light goes up, this packs up. So, uh, no, no, I don't need a light. Uh, there you go. But uh, anyway, like I say, we'll get on with the test and uh, we'll see how, how it compares to the uh, Mark 1 version. I'm expecting it will do a lot better. Okay then folks, I've got uh, 18 rounds of ammunition. I'm going to set the chronograph up. And then we'll get on with the test again. So. I'm 
set it up there and uh, it's probably about three inches back from the front of the barrel and below the barrel. Get my mobile phone out. Now what you need to do uh, for this to work you need to download the software to a phone that works with the software. That could be either Android or uh, an iPhone. Uh, <clears throat> once you've downloaded the software you then go to uh, the actual settings and uh, set the rifle up to the pallet. So we'll get on with that now. Okay then, the rifle is uh, set up. I need to take the uh, first shot. Nine point five. Nine point four. Nine point zero. Nine point five. Nine point six. Nine point six. Okay, then that was uh, in foot pounds. Uh, rifle's running a bit late, so I'll check the air on it. Uh, but I'll now run it in uh, feet per second. Feet per second. Six hundred forty. Six hundred thirty three. Six hundred thirty eight. Six hundred thirty one. Six hundred thirty six. Six hundred thirty eight. That was it. Okay, then. So uh, the chronograph's working well. Uh, and looking at the software, it's improved on uh, version two. Uh, just if you look at the, uh, the numbers, it's 638 on the screen, right in the middle of the screen. If you look up to the top left, it also says 638 there. Now when version 1 came out, I know Steve Allen did a review on it, and uh, there was about a 2 feet per second difference, but it looks like they've sorted that out. Uh, what I can remember from the, last, the first time I used one of these, is that uh, it was comparable to the uh, inaccuracy in, in of shot it was comparable to the scan radar system which the police use so uh, you can't say better than that uh, now we've got one of these down at the range 
and that wasn't performing too well so whether it was because we'd set it up wrong or whether it was a duff uh, actual uh, radar crony I don't know but this one is working okay uh, pellets I'm using in this are the uh, Bisley Magnums uh, so uh, yeah what I'll do I'll, I'll top the rifle up and uh, we'll perform these tests again uh, the the actual rifle uh, is approximately three feet from uh, my pellet catcher and it's working fine there so uh, I'm very pleased with this uh, what this has got over other chronographs is the fact that you can mount it to your rifle do your shooting at the range and you don't have to worry about lining anything up because it's already lined up. So uh, well done Giles uh, and the team for uh, sorting out the software. I'm pretty pleased with this. So what I'll do now, I'll top the rifle up to 200 bar and we'll repeat those tests again. Okay then, I've topped the rifle up again. Uh, so uh, we'll now go along with the second test. So I'll just get the software sorted out. Now what I what I did notice on the software on this is uh, you still can't register it for some reason. That's uh, not a problem. Uh, so. so the chronograph switched on. And it'll connect when it finds a phone. So. You'll be able to hear it anyway if you can't see it. So, there we go. Oh, I'll fire a couple of shots off first because it is a regulated rifle, so I'll let the regulator settle. That's one of the things you have to do with old toss regulators. But. Okay, then. <clears throat> Here we go. Next six. Six Pretty consistent. Uh, last six. Six hundred thirty-six. Like six hundred thirty-six. Six
So there we go. Uh, quite uh, quite happy with that. Uh, like I say, looking at the uh, actual readings on that, uh, we have an average of 633. See that there. Uh, right, so I think while it's done, it's had it's added the shots from before this last uh, thirty shots. But uh, yeah, it's come out as uh, shot count thirty. I should have uh, reset it really, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, it's pretty good. So if you include uh, the, the first shots before I filled the rifle up again, uh, got a shot count of 30, standard deviation is 4.8, spread was 23, but like I say, this last one, I think it went from uh, 624 and the ice was 636, so it's, it's a spread of 12 on that, uh, and it would have been about standard deviation because most of it was between say 29 and, and 30, 36 so yeah very pleased with the uh, the new software uh, it tallies it tallies on the main screen when you take the shot as well as the uh, the one on the left because I know on, on the first uh, version of the software there was like two feet per second out so they sorted that problem out uh, like I say the, the raft's about three feet in front of the uh, pellet catcher so the distance is no problem. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to like this one. Uh, so uh, easy to carry around. You can actually shoot at your targets and uh, not worry about lining up with uh, sensors on a normal crony. As long as it's elastic banded to uh, the end of your rifle, no problem. So uh, thanks for that. and. Uh, after I've been using it for so long, I'll, 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 I'll update you, but I can't see any problems based on what I've found today. So uh, that is the new FX Crony Radar Chronograph uh, version 2 software. And I dare say, like anything, software can be updated, so uh, it can only get better really. So uh, I'll catch you in the next video.